Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Go Fetch and we're going to adopt our first dog. Well, select our first dog and then adopt it, I guess. Can we just, can we just choose any dog we want? Okay. What is this thing? That's a pug. What is this one? Please pick one. Let's, this one's a please pick one. Let's have that one. <laughs> our dog is a please pick one. Okay. Uh, let's, let's go. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of languages there. Get, get the ball. Oh, oh god. The controls are very floaty. Where did the ball go? Uh, oh. There's like a timer. I've never timed my dog playing fetch. Is there like... Is there a way to find the ball? What does it even look like? I literally did not see him throw it, so... Well, I didn't see where he, where he threw it, so... Is it in here somewhere? No. Okay. So we're, like, just dogging around. Um... Is that where... Is that... What is this? That's the ball. How do I... How do I get it? I found the ball. Oh. Here, boy. Come oh, on, okay. Come so I picked it up somehow. Come on, come on. Oh. Come here, boy. oh, what happened? Oh, it's not locking the screen. Come on, ah. Come here, boy. I mean, I'm trying, man. I'm just sort of a lost dog here. Okay, let's go back. Let's go this way. Come here, boy. Come on. I can hear him, but I don't know where he is. Yeah, it sounds like he's coming from the right, but I'm pretty sure he's over here, so I don't think the sound cues are actually helpful, but... Okay. Are we nearly there? Is it in here? No. Okay. I'm coming, man! Uh... I cannot see him anywhere, so... And like I said, the sound cues are not helpful because they... So, like, right now they sound like they're coming from the right over here. Oh, there's a map. There's a mini-map. Okay. Well, I don't know where we started from. Okay. Let's go to where the house icon is. Okay. Oh. There we go. Let's come down here. So this is where the house is. Oh. Oh, there he is. I see him. How do I get over there, though? Oh. Here we go. Come I on, found it. Come yeah! On. Nice! I got three bones. I completed map one and got an achievement. What? I am the... I'm not quite the goodest boy. I have to go get the ball again? Oh. No. Uh, I don't want to get the ball. I'm going to go up this mountain. Uh, up the mountain. Yeah, keep going. There we go. Now we're dogging on the mountain. Gotta grab a screeny up here. I have no idea how we're gonna find the ball though. This looks intensely confusing. Okay. So there was like a glowing thing last time. Do we, do we go for a swim? Right. We just walk on the water, I guess. Okay. Doggo does not swim. He's Jesus Dawn. He Jesus is everywhere. Okay. Oh, there's another hill for us to go up. Boing! I'd really like to be able to jump, but... Right. Okay, so it can't be over there, because we can't get over there. Um, let's go back this way. Oh, there's a map. Oh, uh, does the mini-map tell us where the ball is? Okay. Man, why am I just... I, I just was not paying attention here. Okay, let's go. Man, I'm pretty fortunate that I found that other, um... ball. Given that I could have found it by looking on the mini-map. And I just sort of happened across it. Oh, nope. Can't get, can't get it that way. Okay, so we've got to go around. Right, let's go this way. 
I think I can see it. So it's basically amazing. That's what we're doing. We're participating in a maze experiment. Oh no, that's not gonna work. That doesn't get us where do we need to go. Okay, so we have to go back out to the, oh, back out to the, is that a dead end? I don't know. Yeah, that's a dead end. Okay, let's go back. We need to go back out to the mountain because this is not the right way. This doggo has no sense of direction. Of course, I'm referring to myself. I have no sense of direction. So now I'm just focusing on that mini map. The, mu the music's quite nice. You know, it's like ding, 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 ding. Very simple. Um, music doesn't have to be complicated to, to match the tone. Hey! Okay, so we've got, we've got it. Now we've gotta go back. I know how to get back. Nice. Okay, I'm coming, man. Yeah, the audio cues don't really work because they just sort of come from whatever direction. Okay, I'm coming, man. What's up, dude? Yeah! I got five bones as a reward. Time to get some more bones. I'll be rolling in bones. Yeah, so that was already on the map. Oh my god, the maps are just getting uh, insanely complex. But let's go find it. <laughs> if we want to win the prize of goodest boy, we... Oh god. Okay, well, this is a pretty intense map here. Um, I am gonna fast forward. I'm gonna fast forward till uh, the next level because this is gonna be a lot of trial and error here. So you can barely see the mini-map. If this goes to a dead end, I'm gonna be pretty frustrated. hates his dog because there's no way I'm finding that. I've, I've been checking, that's why I've been leaning so close to the screen because I want to look at the map. Um, and I actually can't see a way to get to that ball, so I'm not going to. Um, let's go back out to the thing and see if we can spend our bones on anything. Um, options. Difficulty. We're on easy. All you have to do is run over it and you auto normal. Then you automatically pick that it'll be harder to find. Hard. You will not have a mini map, but you will get better rewards. Okay. But we can change dogs. So we can have like a little dog. What's this one? Chihuahua. 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 Right. We chose please pick one. Uh, before we can have a let's have a chihuahua oh we can't oh they cost a hundred bones each so we're stuck with we're stuck with please pick one okay um, let's just see what can if, can we repeat level one and get some more bones where did our oh there was no mini map in level one Okay, what about level two? Level two definitely had a mini map. Oh, we changed it to hard. Right, okay. Well, I think that we might have run uh, out of stuff to reasonably do, so let's go look at the description. Okay, go fetch. Who's a good boy? You are! In go fetch, you get to be the dog and get the ball. 
Race through different terrain and mazes in a variety of unique maps. Get the ball and bring it back. Many different dogs with different colors. Woo! Um, I mean, that's pretty accurate. They've got some, uh, they've got some screenshots here. You get to do it in space, I guess. There's some, like, Tundra. We did that one. That's like a weird... Maybe that's lava or something? Man, this guy hates his dog. Um... Okay... Who's a good boy you are? Oh, we got that. Oh, so it's, they did the thing, you know, where they put the description here and then just put it again down here. I mean, there are different spaces, so maybe you put different things in them, you know, rather than repeating them, because now someone comes down here and they're like, oh, I already read that, and they feel like you're wasting their time, and then they're not going to read the rest of it, so just a general note. I mean, you're not the, this is not the only game that's guilty of that, but, um, multiple dogs can be unlocked, including Beagle, Border Collie, Bulldog, Bull Terrier, Chihuahua, Doberman Pinscher, German Shepherd, Labrador Retriever, Poodle, Pug, Rhodesian Ridgeback, St. Bernard, and please pick one. They didn't list that, but that is one of the dogs you can select. So, that's the best one. Um, race to find the ball in lots of fun places like the park, the snow, inside a volcano, or even in outer space. They put an extra T in there for some reason. Why wait? Get Go Fetch today. Um, I mean, yeah, if you like. It's $4 at the moment. I don't know, man. That's probably a bit, a bit on the high side. Maybe a little bit. I think to make this game like satisfying and make me go like, yes, this is great and I love it. I feel like the game should have, the dog should have like the ability to like sniff it out and like have like a little cone or something that sort of like lights up when you're getting like going the right way. You go. You know, and then you, you go, oh, I'm going to go this way, you know? Like, still have the maze thing, but, like, make it more organic the way you find your way through the maze, like a dog, instead of, like, having to stare at a little mini-map that basically is impossible to see anything on. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I would like to see in a game about fetching as a dog, would be, like, some organic sort of sniffing it out. And maybe, like, instead of starting in, like, a weird maze that's a park... Maybe just have a big open park where he throws the ball and you run and go and get the ball. Because, like, honestly, there's probably actually some cathartic fun to be had in being a dog and chasing a ball down just in an open area. Um, I mean, obviously, that's not, like, a puzzle. It's not a maze or whatever. But if people are buying a game about being a dog and playing fetch, let them play fetch. You know? Let them play fetch. I would play fetch. I'd totally be down to play fetch a bunch of times and get a bone every once in a while. You know? That's fine. Um, developer is Digital Dog Games. And they... Uh, okay. So they've just they just come out with Go Fetch and they have another game coming out called Make Zombies Great Again. Um which is coming out in the fourth quarter of 2018, I guess. 4Q 2018 means that's, yeah. So I guess that's in a month or so. Um, is the beer pong of zombie shooters. Join Butch and Pedro, two unlikely bedfellows, as they embark on a journey through zombie-infested neighborhoods in search of glory, honor, and diapers. I mean, I mean, like, look, let's have a look. We might as well, we might as well see what else they've got, they're offering up. We've got um, the Go Fetch game. Wow, that is incredibly dark. It's like basically impossible to see anything, guys. It, dark is not scary necessarily. Okay, like, yes, making something dark can be scary, but like, not being able to see anything is just dumb, and no one wants to play that. So maybe lighten up the game a little bit before you release it. Just saying. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, but we were talking about Go Fetch, which is a nice game about doggos. I like doggos. Um, I like the, I like the concept. Um, like I said, there should be some, like, this would be not hard for you to do. Just put in a free mode where you can just play fetch in a park without having to deal with a maze. Um, and I don't know how easy it is to implement the whole smelling thing, but that would be really awesome as well. Yeah. Um, as it is, I'd say it's probably 
twice as expensive as it would need to be for people to actually pick it up. Um, so, I don't know, maybe drop the price. People will buy it for the lulls, I guess. Um, I don't know, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's interesting. I've definitely played way worse games. So, from concept to execution, you know. Um, it's pretty good and could be really fun with, like, a lot more polish and a little bit more work. So, I'm going to leave it there. Let's go fetch. Check it out on Steam if you want. If you don't want, then don't. Um, I don't have an alternate game to recommend to you. Um, because I haven't played a game that is about fetching balls as a dog before. So, you know. <laughs> if you don't want to do that, then play... A different game a different style of game like that other game that i played yesterday which was uh star trader frontiers that's a great game that's an awesome one i can unequivocally recommend that one but it's not like playing fetch so um thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time class dismissed